What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mo Guns Less Problems. You already know I'm Mo and I'm Maya. All right. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be a little different from what we typically do, but still related at the same time. So this is just going to be a little something that we do on the side here and there or whatever. If we got something to say, this is where it's going to come from. The couch. Big comfy couch. So we'll have like, I guess like little segments um, where we have a different conversation. So if y'all have a conversation that y'all want to suggest, just put it in the comments and we'll um, scatter those segments. So these segments all together are going to be called the couch conversations. So um, this will be the first one. And like I said, if y'all have any suggestions, just put it down and we'll do the video um, on that. In the comments. Mm -hmm. Drop it down in the comments. Yeah. Make sure y'all um, like the video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Get us to that thousand. Where we at right now? Like 988. 988. Yeah. Man, that sound real good, but we need that thousand, so let's go. Um, run it up real quick. Uh, before we start this video, we want to give a quick, quick shout out to one of our spons bleh, sponsors, um, Goliath Gun Care. Get y'all some gun solvent. This is the solvent bottle. Uh, it is eight ounces. Real good stuff. Like, I thought I was cleaning the guns until I got that, so... Y'all um, tap in, and this is the oil. The oil is two ounces. So make sure y'all tap in, and y'all can find him on the Instagram. We, we'll also place um, the links below, so y'all can go and check it out directly. Um, completely odorless, so if you don't like that funky mechanic uh, gasoline station smell, this it right here. Ain't no smell. You ain't got to worry about that. A little bit goes a long way. Yep. With that. Yep. Really good stuff. I think the first time you was like way too much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was some. That's some really good stuff. So y'all check it out. Um, Goliath Gunworks. He on the Instagram, and we gonna put all the information in the link. Blah 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 in the description <laughs> below. So yeah. Uh, so you wanna get started first, like yes, if. Um we have tried to relax the kids, but they are like on 10. They, they pump so, up yes. right now. So y'all just going to have to excuse it because we tired. And we got the mics on to make it like more personable and you can only hear us. But like. Y'all yeah. might catch a glimpse and of the ghetto. That's all you hear and hear now. They're just like. <laughs> it's the ghetto. Okay. <clears throat> so how, how we're going to do this is. Well, this, this first segment is our top five. Um, to get their top 10 because we both have five and five mm -hmm. most frequently asked questions as gun owners so um, we both have five each she'll read one give her answer I'll read one give my answer and then we'll all um, think about all of them all together like all and see well, if we if y'all get this too then comment comment and let us know i'm pretty sure like like everybody's frequently asked questions but yeah from what we both experienced right 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 um also i don't know her questions she don't know yes, mine yes. so we just going so if we have one of the same questions we have to wing it with another question that somebody has asked us as, as well yep mm -hmm. so go you want to go first Sure. All right. Okay. So I'll start. My first question on the list is what do you carry and why? My response would be um, I have two different ones that I carry. It is um, the Glock 48 and the Hellcat Pro. So a lot of y'all that watch the videos frequently already know that. Um, and why do I carry these? Uh, because it's they're comfortable for me in the hands to hold, and I also feel confident when I shoot those. Now, a lot of y'all know my favorite saying, the Hellcat Pro. I don't shoot that a lot, but I I've shot it enough to know like my my limits on that one. 
and then um, the Glock 48 like I said also in another video if I had to run to pick up one it would be that one because I know like like I've, I've worked with that one quite a bit all right my turn so my first one is why why do you need a gun? <laughs> yes. A so a little backstory, like at my place of work, like it's very two A friendly. Like from the owner down to the, you would think we was like um, a gun warehouse or something. That's what you would think because everybody's strapped. Like please, nobody try to run up in there because yeah, y'all don't want no smoke. But. Um, you know the some of the clients will see us or whatnot and they like why and so especially when they see me because i'm the only female i'm the only female so when they see me what you what you carrying this for what why you got this why you got that now don't ask how they see it because like sometimes like when i bend down or something and i carry kind of like two and three o'clock kind of or whatever like sometimes my shirt ride a little bit and of course they be looking just be checking people out and stuff <laughs> just be checking me out I don't know so um you know they they see it and then uh uh well this is one guy in particular he goes um why 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 do you carry a gun um because I like the idea of protecting myself I, I like the idea of that. Mm -hmm. So um, I protect myself so I can get back home to my family. And that's that. I mean, what else What else to it? We live in Houston. We in Houston. Y'all see us all the time. It's always something. Especially if you watch that, um, who is it? That's Active self-protection. You see us all I mean, the time. Like, like now, if you just, if you go to, like, follow ABC13 on Instagram, it's like, Every day, all day, every day, such and such rob, such and such yep. shooting here and there, mm -hmm. try to kidnap whoever, like, you know. And guess what? It ain't going to be me. I had a run-in before. i tell y'all about that another time, but mm -hmm. um, what the heck was that? Oh. Water bottle? I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, answer to that is simply because I care about getting home. I care about protecting myself. Like, you know, life has its ups and downs, but guess what? I want to be here. So, it is what it is. Um, back to what we were saying, had to do some reinforcing up in here. But um, the sign up that I was saying was um, that I, I'm also the only girl at my job. Um, it's all, like, literally all men. Um, what I was saying was that it's, like, we get a different perspective on why others choose to carry as well um, because when you become the only female working in an all-male environment um, they either take care of you or you get harassed and I feel like with us with our situation fortunately we're both in places where um, they look out for us like really really hard and we don't have to experience like any sort of harassments or anything like that mm -hmm. and um the only thing that we do sometimes have issues with is like men trying to establish their dominance when it's just like because they like this small yeah yeah little tiny pps but yes our our, mm -hmm. our other perspectives outside of our own on why people carry like we get an insight on that every day as well mm -hmm. and like for me too I carry for sure on the job because like I'm hauling like I drive the trucks or whatever but I'm hauling freaking twenty thousand dollars of stuff and if you know if if people know like what I'm carrying or whatever and they know oh they see this is oh yeah 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 they know that's money so y'all ain't finna come and get me mm -hmm. so they don't want it to reason. Yeah, and I, I all I do all day is drive. So, yeah. Um, yeah, y'all ain't getting me. Not for my product. I mean, hey, I, I love my job. I love the owners. Um, no, y'all ain't finna rob us, <laughs> even though it's me physically, but y'all ain't finna rob us. So, anyway. 
Next question. Um, because of where I work, I get this question a lot. Um, when you shoot, as in self-defense, or attack and or robbery, are you shooting to unalive that person? Um, I always say, and this is this is just my opinion. This is not saying that, like I've done anything. This is not saying that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you did. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like I'm just saying, like this, this is not my my personal opinion on that question. That I, I'm not saying anything <laughs> that I have done anything because I haven't. <laughs> but when it comes to something like that, prior to us. Well, she, she when we we first got together, she had a few firearms, mm -hmm. and I was kind of like swung into it. But um, now I that hit I, her with that. Yeah, now that like I'm in, I'm working in the industry um, with firearms. I get asked this question so much, and my opinion on that one is, I I always tell them if it, if it happens. And then it happens. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but I also remind them that if someone is bold or they feel courageous for some reason and feel like they want to take the next step to do that, either if I'm by myself or I'm with my kids, then it's nothing wrong with me defending myself, especially if I'm with my kids. And everybody know how I am about them because I had them like. I go a lot of places with them by myself, especially if she's still out at work. Um, my answer to that is if it happens, it happens. But when it comes down to me being with the kids in the situation happen, go in the wild, in the wilderness. Man, them boys probably go, be like, get them up. Yeah, yes. yeah. Go in the wilderness and you find a bear and you find the baby and you go up to the baby and, and see what the mom gonna do. That is is the same exact thing. Hey, one one. Mm -mm. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll Have take one. <laughs> Dang. So, in regards to your question, yes, I am. You got a weapon, and is that me? Is on me? It's over with. I'm sorry. Um, God forgive me, but you know, hey, God said it's all right. In that particular instance, um, but yeah, I don't I don't see how that's a shoot. The, whoever be asking that, they crazy because it ain't no. We not just finna do this. It's a whole bunch of other legal stuff that go along with it. Like, bro, nah. If I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it. Yeah, um, a lot of new new people into that are coming into the firearms world mm -hmm. they seem to always ask me that question like always and i tell people all the time like if you if you go to a range um if you go to a range and like you're a new uh a new firearms owner and like i always tell them it's about you getting acquainted with yourself and with the firearm first and whenever you go to the range it's not always about you in there being like hardcore tactical because I feel like that's how a lot of people see it that's not in into the firearms industry they're not part of the 2A they haven't done research but they I think talk, everybody all tech boy tech girl yeah like I feel like um that's how they think it is and I always, I always tell people like Cool we you, we yeah, do it right? for fun, like, and if you keep doing it for fun, like, yeah, sometimes you you will, like, when when you're training, like, you train hard, but um, a lot of the times when you are having fun, that's that's you training right there. Like, I know so many people that'll that'll go to the range just to like have fun, blow off steam, or you know, just to get out the house, especially old retired men. That's that's their thing. It's about acquaintance and being acquainted. And also knowing and understanding your whipping, your movements, and things like that. Like, for sure, it's training involved, for sure. But, you know, 
a majority of the time it's like, oh, let's go do this competition or something or something like that. Let's go shoot some still. At the end of the day, it's all like a focus. It's a it's a thing. I don't know. I can't really explain it. Yeah. Um. So my second question is, are you scared of something? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> First of all, only thing I'm scared of is God. And that's it. I don't care about nothing that's on this earth. I am scared of wasps, but that's a whole nother story. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother story. But I ain't fearing nothing, bro. I just enjoyed the fact of protecting myself, knowing that I'm able to. And I have the mindset that I am willing to do so. And I understand what comes with doing so. So I, I just want to be comfortable. In the world we live in, you, you have to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, these days you can't even walk down the street. Like, when I was growing up, man, we was outside doing all kind of stuff. And everybody knew us or whatever. We was just outside, like, hard. Not this version of outside, what they say. We was outside yeah. for real, like... We was really outside, but you can't do that now because somebody trying to take your shit and ain't nobody got shit that much right now. So, you know, we want to protect what the hell we got. We're going to protect our life because we got two boys up in there and we want to be here. So I ain't scared of nothing, bro. That's I just carry because I simply want to protect myself. So that's my second question. What you got for number three? Um, my third question is, how did you get into guns? My response to that question is, um, my grandfather was, he served in Vietnam. Um, so therefore, there were all kinds of <laughs> guns around the house. One in the bedroom, in the corner, uh, one in the kitchen, and he had he had this really really nice machete. Um, I'll see if he can show it to you when we go up there that he brought back. Mm-hmm. Um, it has like all types of different engravings on it, but it's super nice. He he left that out too. Um, but we had so much discipline when it came to those. Like we he never put them up, he never hid them. They were always in our plain view. But because we were so disciplined, we knew not to touch him, you know, leave him alone. It wasn't for us. Um, and unfortunately, people, some people these days don't, or kids or adults our ages that, you know, grew up in like a very, I guess, I don't know what kind of household to say, like, I guess not too a friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't get to experience that, but I got into it a little later on. Uh, I always wanted to shoot I always said I would, but when we got together, um, she brought home one. She's like, I need to go get something. I'll be right back. And I was like, okay. And then she comes back and she just puts it on the bed. And I'm just like, whoa, whoa. And she was like, all the time we're not together, you need to have something, especially if you are with the boys by yourself. And from there, we went to the range. We went to the range the next day. Mm, like yes. I think it was the I next think day. Yeah, it might have been the next day. But from there, it just kind of took off. And, you know, I begged her to do YouTube. I started the page or the channel. And then we started going to a lot of different events and stuff. And then from there, I actually hopped into um, the firearm industry. The opportunity just kind of fell in my lap. So now I know a lot of stuff i know a lot of stuff and for all y'all people that be i'm finna get my t electric on for all <laughs> y'all people that be coming to talk about some y'all don't do check check blah 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 we the 2a community on youtube you have those um i'm gonna call them the the youtube um safety officers <laughs> on everybody's video oh blah, no you did that hoe must have flew in here from my side. So instead of RSO, so we gonna call them YSOs for YouTube safety offices. Always talk about some y'all don't check the gun. Blah 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 blah. I'm finna smack his ass. He on the light. Look his ass. I'm gonna knock it over, huh? 
That boy spinning. What the hell? <laughs> I gotta smack his ass. Oh, you got him good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> For all all the the YouTube safety officers, um, I, I have to tell people this because sometimes she replies and sometimes I reply. Um, but she's on the Instagram. You want me more. to tell him? Wait, how, you. She's on that the the uh, Instagram more, and I'm on usually the one on the YouTube side. Um, I have to tell people all the time: this is this is my industry. I have to do this. I handle guns every single day, all day. So for for all the ones be like y'all don't do this, y'all don't do that. Like you should know this and this. How, come on, how y'all supposed to do this, this and this? And you started telling blah blah. A lot of that is men thinking that they're alphas and. It's women doing this, and everything that we post, you probably mad that you don't have it. So a lot of those get overlooked. Some of them are just plain stupid. Like, are you a child? Your hands are so small, this and that. I'm a female. Like, how big do you think my hands supposed to be? But like, we don't let stuff like that get to us. But it, just so you know, you know what I say? Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Suck it. That's what I tell you. It's little, little peen. Tiny pings, yes, calm that. down. How y'all let a, how y'all let women bother you that much? Like chill, bro. Yeah, send, send my rant on that. Like chill. we we know we understand. Like and like I tell people too. Some of the, the, those videos get cropped down, so a lot of the times you don't get to see when you know we're loading and unlo unloading and checking. Especially now with the YouTube compliant rules, like it's a lot of stuff you can't show. So for all y'all men that feel like y'all doing sissies, this them sissies. by saying, oh, no, you're supposed to do this. Them get, ain't no man. They training, blah, blah, Like, we've been through classes. Like, we get y'all think Y'all like, think we just out here? We do this. What is you talking about? What okay, is you so talking so you about? Know, right? Don't feel like you are doing something by commenting, saying, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. Like we got we got all that under control and it's a lot of stuff that we doing behind the scenes that y'all don't know about. So yes. Mind your business. So box Mind your down. business. I'm off of it. Little pings. Next question. Little dinglings. Uh all right, so my where we at? Number three. Okay. This one is for my people. My people. And me hint this. <laughs> soon as you tell uh, somebody find out, oh yeah, blah blah blah, yeah, oh you do this, oh yeah, so can you get this? Can you get that? And then the number one, because for some reason everybody just want to be hood rats, and they say, can you get switches, bro? Bro, excuse me. First of all, I worked so hard to get my, my LTC. We in Texas, so it's an LTC, license to carry. I worked so hard to get my LTC. If y'all ask me about some illegal shit, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police because I don't know where to get that from. I, you go, go to Chicago. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. That's all I got to say on that. Don't ask me for no illegal shit. That's all I'm saying. Don't ask me to get you no gun. Don't ask me for no illegal shit. Don't try to sell me shit off the streets because I can go get it legally in the gun store and with no problem. So, no, I'm not doing none of that. And I ain't got no goddamn switches. I, I'm tired of it. And, and it's other guns than Glocks. All right. And and five sevens, cause that's y'all thing now. <sighs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Next question. I'm oh, tired of this. Question number Shoot. four is: Do you know anything about guns? I get asked that question so much, so much. Um, and I always tell them yes, and then. They'll ask me X, Y, Z question. I'll give my answer. If it's a question, a question that I have no, no clue about, um, I always, you know, 
send them to somebody else that might know because uh, I don't I don't like giving out the wrong information uh, I never have even in my last career field if I don't have the answer I can surely get it for you um, but that that's my my fourth question all right um <clears throat> My fourth question. <laughs> you like to shoot in the air on New Year's and stuff? <laughs> Bro. Excuse me. Uh, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. For what? I go to the range almost every weekend. Uh, a weekday, it don't matter. For what? What am I going to do that for? That's crazy and illegal. I don't do illegal stuff. <laughs> like, no. I don't care about no New Year's. I don't care about no uh, July. I'm not doing that. Now on Christmas for some reason. Oh, uh, yeah, right? What? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, no. No, I do not do illegal activities with my firearms. I like to have my firearms. I like getting my firearms legally. I am not doing anything to jeopardize that. And for what? I'm not trying to, you know bullets come down. Bullets come right on down. Probably the same force because of gravity. And boom, then what? So no, absolutely not. I'm not, uh, I wouldn't want that on my conscience. I'm a good, I'm a good girl. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Question number five. Mm-hmm. Um, my question for number five is what, what is my favorite gun or what would I recommend for a carry? So it's kind of like, it's kind of like two questions, but it's, it's usually, they'll just run it all together like that. <laughs> um, but my favorite is, um... Right now, I don't even know if I'm gonna come off of this one as my favorite. Um, it's gonna be the Atlas, the Atlas that we shot at a uh, HTX uh, te uh, tactical range event. Two, I'm um, drooling. I don't, I don't know if 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 that like what it would be replaced. Like, yeah, there's so many nice things <coughs> I want, but that's that's nah, that, that's gonna be the favorite. And it's it's something about a one pound trigger, it's gonna like, like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. and and ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Yes, don't stay like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. You want the OnlyFans? No. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> Feet pictures? No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Your question five? All right. Um. So, <clears throat> mine is, it's kind of not a question, but um, it's like the curious person. It's always somebody like, Man, I want to go shoot, but I'm scared. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, Can I go with you one day? Or you think you could show me? Can I come shoot with you? You know what? I'm going to say absolutely. Because I'm all for teaching somebody. I, I want people to want to defend themselves. Or if they scared, I want to help them overcome that fear. Because it's nothing to be scared of, you know? It's all about you. You it's it's what you doing. You have the control when that thing is in your hand. You know what I'm saying? When it's in your hand, you have the control. So um I I'm all about teaching people. I don't care. You get a lot of people be like, Oh, I don't shoot with everybody. I don't I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this. I don't wanna meet up with my people in this and blah blah blah, people who subscribe, whatever. I don't care about none of that. I wanna teach people. Like, it's it's not about that for me. I don't, some people, like, I'm pretty sure if, if I did something, like, everybody that would be there, like, oh, well, let me, even my family members, bro, like, oh, I, I want to shoot. I want to do this. I'm not scared about it because if I know safety, that's the first thing I'm going to do is teach you safety before you even touch that gun and let you handle it, unload it, whatever, and then we can go live fire. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm going to. We going to do baby steps. That's how we going to do it. I'm all down for the teaching. So I don't care about 
like being like a YouTuber or just a, a influencer, whatever the heck you want to call it. Like, I don't care about none of that. I'm not that type of person. I never will be. But, you know, I don't know. I can't, I can't even explain it. I just, I'm all for teaching people. If you want to learn or if that just end up not being your thing and I didn't help you do, with something, whatever, it's just not for you because it ain't for everybody. But if you're curious like that and you obviously thinking about, man, I want to do this, but you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always down to teach people. I just don't deal with none of that. You know what I'm saying? All of that extra hood rat stuff. I don't want to deal with that. But even still, if I have to deal with it, I'm going to teach you because we is each one teach one. That's how I feel about it. You know, and if more people learn about firearms and firearm safety, we'll be all right. So. And I do have um, a bonus question. I feel like I'm not the only one um, that has been asked this question. I know a lot of people probably have. Um, the That bonus question is, uh, it kind of goes with my number two. When you shoot, are you shooting to unalive? A follow-up like almost immediately after that and I look, I just thought about it is if you are in that, that situation and you do you know shoot to unalive the person how do you answer to God people that are like religious um, kind of don't want to get into firearms because of that reason um, and that question is always if you do that like how, how are you going to answer to God? And I don't get into that conversation because I feel like intentional murder and everything else beyond that is like what they would start hitting you with. That, but then, but that then like, like, it's not like it's intentional. It's, it's not an intentional like, oh, I'm going to go kill, like. Thou shall not kill. But this is a protection. Yeah. This is not, I don't want to do this. I do not want to do it at all. And I know the outcome of this round or this and what guns can do. I know the outcome. So if you do happen to die, what I didn't want to do that. It's, that's going to bother me in my conscience, you know, but that's where you get yourself trained up mentally to be ready but nobody is never actually ready to do anything like that but you will if you have to that's the thing it's that will because you know what I'm saying but I feel like when thou shalt not kill was was stated in the commandments that was more so of a like somebody going to shoot up a mall oh I'm going to kill somebody today let me just go choke their neck. Let me go beat them with a bat just because thou shall not kill. Like, don't nobody want to kill nobody. Nobody want to do that. And if, and if, and how you going to ask me, how should I answer to God? Excuse me. That's between me and him. That ain't between me and you. That's between me and him. And if you just so happen to be there, when I get there, you can stand to the side and listen. But, you know what I'm saying? That's between me and him. Nobody want to do any of that. But the same way they don't care about what you got going on or who you or who love you or your family. They don't care nothing about you. They don't know nothing about you. They don't care. It is what it is. They mama just going to have to pull out that black dress. They granny, ain't whoever. They going to have to pull out the black dress. Because... You don't care about mine. I care about yours, but you making me do this. I care about everybody life. Everybody deserves to live. But obviously you don't think I should. So now I don't think you should. Boom, that's it. I don't know. Y'all let us know y'all answers um, to either one, one of the questions, all of them, or that bonus question. Uh, so hopefully y'all liked the, the couch conversation, the first little segment, and we'll continue to do more. Leave your suggestions, leave your bonus answer questions in the comments.
and we'll branch off and make more segments if you guys give us the topics yep make sure y'all like the video and if you're new here subscribe and go watch some of the other videos man go check everything out on the channel and uh y'all stay safe always remember more guns more guns less problems